Not a single thing in your reality was ever there unless and until it was once imagined first. Yes, you did that. You were just unconscious of it. Think about it. How many times have we all been in this position where you were just thinking about someone and then you'll go down the road and there they are or you'll get a text message from them or something will remind you of them and you'll give them a call and they'll be like, I was just thinking about you. It's happened to us all. And we put that down to coincidence because we love to disassociate from the power that we hold but do not use. This is the final video you're ever going to need to watch to master the law of assumption once and for all. There's no more binge scrolling, there's no more binge watching of all these videos. This is your one and done final video to understand how to get what it is that you want. The things that you have, people's attitudes towards you, the love that you crave, it was all first imagined inside of you because then the 3D cannot possibly reflect anything other than what it is you assume about yourself. So let's say, for example, that you seek that validation from other people. And if imagination is the only thing that's real, would you be going about begging for people's validation, begging for people to like you, begging for people to show up for you? Or would you go within and assume that you get what it is that you want? That people always bend over backwards for you that you are the operant power because what we end up doing is fixing the external when really the only thing is internal and why is that if your reality is constantly reflecting back to you your imagination then surely the only thing that is real is your imagination let me just say that again if your world reflects back to you what is in your imagination Surely, the only factual thing is what is in your mind. So all of these circumstances, everything that you're seeing, everything unraveling, everything getting worse, does it really matter when the only thing that matters is what's in your imagination? You really want to have the deja vu effect. And this is essentially where you have rehearsed something so many times that when it actually happens in your 3D, you feel like you've got deja vu. And this is literally proven by a client who commented in one of my videos about how we did a revision scene in one of our coaching sessions and a week and a half later they were out of no contact with their SP after you know months of not speaking this is what I mean by staying loyal to the unseen if your imagination is what is projecting out into your reality and your reality reflects that back the only thing that is real is your imagination this is why revision is so powerful this is why Neville Goddard spoke about revision and to revise like your life depends on it and with revision when you are revising a scene you make it very boring very easy to digest and you loop it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times and then you just let it go because once you've looped it over and over and over again and you open up your eyes, it actually doesn't feel like you're in the room that you're in when you open up your eyes. It feels like, oh my God, I was just on that beach. Oh my God, I was you know, just in that house. Oh my God, I was just with my SP. It feels so real because of the repetition, because of the persistence, because of looping that scene and going inside of your imagination. And, and the thing about imagination, I know that some people struggle with visualization. I definitely was one of those people. It's all about practice. So you want to be practicing as much as possible, closing your eyes, imagining your pillow, closing your eyes and imagining your fridge, you know, that kind of thing. Very boring, very monotonous, but gradually, then you see the waves, then you hear the waves, then you see the sun, then you see the sun setting, then you see the beach, then you feel the sand in your toes. And it becomes so vivid and so real that it's impossible to distinguish from what's real and what's imagined. And that's what the deja vu effect is. It's when you wake up and you're like, oh my God, that was so real. It's when it's come to life in your 3D and you turn around and you're like, I've been here before. And you hear celebrities say this all the time. I saw this in my mind multiple times before it came into my reality. Lady Gaga is a perfect example. And she was so loyal to the unseen of her becoming a superstar. There was nothing in her reality telling her she's gonna be a superstar. In fact, the opposite. You have to be so loyal to that imagination because it's all that is real, regardless of what's happening. And also I was just on the phone yesterday with a client and uh, they were basically saying like, is it normal for things to get worse before it gets better? And 
I don't know if you remember, I did a video about the, you know, the, the mud going into the cup and all of that stuff. It's absolutely normal for things to get worse or appear worse in the 3D. But you have to understand, okay, if you have a cup full of water and you want to pour orange juice in that cup, what are you going to do with the water in the cup? You have to get rid of it somehow. It has to either rise to the surface as you add more stuff in and disperse out of the sides, or you have to pour it out. You can't just add orange juice and then have a glass of orange juice. It's going to be diluted or it's going to be mixed up with whatever's in that cup. And so the shit has to move. You have to allow it to come to the surface. You, you have to allow it to make space for what it is that you want. Otherwise, you're going to be building a house on sand. And what happens there? It's not what we want. We want stability. We want longevity. We want forever. We want to feel amazing all of the fucking time. And so instead of being like, oh, well, I've done this for two weeks and nothing's working. Okay. But you've also been negative for the past 28 years. So how's another two weeks gonna harm you? Or how's another month gonna harm you? Or how's showing up for yourself for the next three months gonna upset you or harm you? Surely it's better than staying in the misery that you're so accustomed to and have been for so long. Everyone is you pushed out. And so the assumption that you're making about this person, about this thing, they will surely act it out. You may have one guy who dates, you know, 10 different girls and every single girl will have a different experience with that guy because of how that girl is showing up. And this, the same is true for the opposite. If that was a girl dating whoever, the same is true because we are different people for different people. Some people bring out the worst in us, some people bring out the best in us. And so you have to understand, if everyone is you pushed out, and you have this dominant assumption that they don't text you, they don't choose you, they don't call you, I don't get this money, money is hard to make. Okay, you're correct. How's that gonna work out for you in getting the life of your dreams? How's that gonna benefit you in believing that you get what it is that you want? So this is really the key, guys, understanding that there is nothing else real besides your imagination. Your imagination is the only thing that is real. If your reality is reflecting back your imagination, give it a second. Give it a second. Just relax. Relax. Nothing needs to happen today. The lights are on. The bills are paid. The fridge is full. Okay? Nothing needs to happen right now. And if you are in that desperate space, which I'm sure everyone can relate to at some point in their life, that cannot last forever. Okay? It can't last forever. So give thanks to what it is that you're learning. I was actually speaking to someone the other day and I was like, I am so grateful for every tear I've ever shed, for every hard time, for every single bad thing that's ever happened to me because it's made me the phenomenal person that I am today. I wouldn't change a fucking thing. Like, I don't think you understand. I genuinely wouldn't change a thing. I'm so grateful for all of those tears, for all of those hard times. It's literally made me like the woman of my dreams. I'm actually gonna do a video about this, how I became the woman of my dreams. But I, I genuinely wouldn't change it. So when you are in those dark, dark times, embrace it, baby. Just know that the best is yet to come. Go general with something like, I'm certain that the best is yet to come. Isn't it wonderful that all these miracles pour into my life today? But I trust this video helped you manifest. You're worthy, you're loved, I love you and thank you.